brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Step one, look up the updated instructions on the internet. Even though we have lots of trees up here, we decided to not chop them down. We're gonna mount the compressor to the plate using the hardware that comes with the compressor. All the electrical goes forward on this setup. Now, use hand tools unless you're used to not breaking stuff with power tools. Next step, we're gonna put the filters on. The T-fitting comes in our kit. It's gonna go into here. This uses a 15 mil wrench. We're also gonna use a 10 mil wrench to loosen the 10 mil down here so we can rotate to keep our fitting out of the way, this piece. So it's gonna start, then you use the open end. You don't gotta go crazy, it's just gotta be tight. Now we're gonna position this down here and tighten back that manifold bolt. Using the tool, just kind of place it in a widget. Eventually, we're gonna pop the switch in, arrows facing the compressor, as said in the instructions. Rocker switch, push it on, evenly apply pressure. Look at that. See the custom jumper harness we got here? So you can nicely just plug into the Airb compressor and then follow your wiring diagram on your install. Black. The shorter black hose, plug into the Y fitting till you feel it click. And then plug it into this T fitting. Make sure it's secure. Okay, we're gonna start with the A or B harness. Using a screwdriver, we're gonna pop out the retainer piece. It just easily pops off, keep that for later. Then, using a paper clip, we're gonna remove all the wires. Now, in the instructions, it'll show you what color wires went where, so you can keep track. But in the end, when you plug it into the compressor and you're all done, the wire colors will be the same on both sides of the connector. So, no need for a special pin tool, as a decent paper clip will do the job of popping the pins out. Also, it's a good idea to pull out the maxi fuses since we're gonna start doing wiring. Okay, we're gonna strip the wire back a bit. Thank you. 
depending on the year of your Jeep, you may have an internal or an external torque bolt holding down your seats. this clip there just a little trick just uh, zip tie through the hole around the grab handle now you don't have to worry about it anymore we're gonna pull this drain plug out because this is where we're coming up with the wires. We're gonna carefully cut this out with a sharp blade and not cut ourselves. So he can feed the wiring we sent down the fender up through this hole. See how easy that was? Now, we're gonna route it all through the hole we cut. We're gonna neatly put this down here. Cracking component, hose fitting, lift up seat. Welcome to Epic. You want to see something really cool? The Kraken. Epic tire inflation system. These are trailhead deflators. At Epic, uh, we searched far and wide and eventually found these on a desert island. And these have been the best deflators we've ever used. I have not changed the settings on them since I bought them years ago. They go down to 14 PSI without any issue. <laughs> That's it. It's like magic. Air comes out. Now, if you had a tricycle, you'd be done right now. But we're going to go do the other tire. Here's how I use the Kraken system. I always store my air up, air down bag behind the driver's seat. There's many locations. Mine's underneath the goose gear platform. So you got your bag. So we're gonna take our bag, unzip it, take out an airline. We're plug in. 
take these two ends. I guess you can guess where they're going to go, but I carry them for the first wheel because I don't want them to hit the ground. Push them on. We go to the back. Put it on there. We come over to the other side. We plug this in there. Front. Push that on. We head to the rear. Push that on. So you should always have the car running when you're running the compressor. It's gonna run more efficiently. You're not gonna drain down the battery. It's just gonna work and it'll air up faster. So now we're gonna go in. We're gonna push the crack and switch. So if it's bad weather out or anything, you can shut the door lightly or you can go one click and it'll still air will come out the lines, no problem. Next, cause it's kind of chilly out here, I'm gonna climb in, switch over to the tire pressure readout and I'm gonna watch as they refresh every so many seconds. show you the process of disassembling it so you don't lose the air in the tires. I start on the driver's side, just pulling the collar, releasing. I then set them right here underneath the seat so that the fittings don't hit the dirt. It saves me having to clean anything. So we added a purge valve so that we could make it easier to remove the air lines. Once the air is removed, it is much easier to remove the push to connect fittings. These lines, they love to pretty much coil themselves. Back in the bag. Push the black piece down, hold it, and we removed the splitter. Looking for an epic Jeep? Give us a call. Please be kind and smash that like button. And hey, we have an online store. Check it out.